Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, in this tutorial, uh, I will be teaching you how to pass a value between forms. So you can pass anything from a form to another, you, either a string, uh, an end, an image, a control, a tool, anything. So let's say I want to write something in a text box and that I want to pass what I wrote to another form. So the way we do that is let's first create another form Windows form form 2. So and I want to display what I write in a, in the text box in this label which I'm going to increase the size a little bit. It's uh, label 1. So first let's just double click the button in the first form and uh, we are going to instantiate an object of form2 form2 equals new form2 and form2 form dot show so that there are basically three ways that we can pass a value between forms. The first one is through the constructor. The constructor is the method that we use to instantiate the class. So if I go to form2 and I go to view code, so this is my constructor. Uh, every class has a constructor. Every class that you instantiate into an object has a constructor. So I can simply say that this constructor expects a string ship, string value and if I run this now I will get an error because I'm trying to instantiate this form but that shouldn't be the Oh, that was brutal. Anyway, so I get an error in the new form too because I this constructor expects uh, a string. So I just say text box one dot text, which is in a string. So simple like that. But we need to go to form two and we need to say in the constructor that the label one dot text is equal to value so simple like that if we run this now and let's just say I don't know I'm out of ideas and I press this or simple like that so that's pretty simple. Uh, another way that we can pass a value is by creating a method without a constructor. So a method that is not a constructor. So first the method needs to be public because I need to access it from another another class. So public and let's just say set label text. It's basically the same thing of the constructor but this will call after instantiating the object. So string value and we do the same thing. I'll even copy this because well um, why I getting I'm getting this uh, right <laughs> Uh, we, we are not going to send back any information so it's a void that means I won't be that means this method won't return anything so like that and I will erase this now if I run this again just to show you well I should get the I should write I don't know what the hell is wrong with my PC, but 
so just to show you again uh, I should have gotten an error here I don't know why I'm not getting it it's running but anyway never mind so the point is now I'm not going to to pass a value through the constructor but I'm going to go form dot set label text and we say the same thing text box dot text and if we run this now again simple like that and the last way of doing it the, the other way of doing it is uh, by simply saying first let's let me say something first every tool that you put in a that you add in a form is by default private so if I want to go in the first form and say uh, form dot label one it won't show because it's private so to if I'm not I'm not saying that you should do this actually you shouldn't but just to sh sh you know to put it out there how you do it is you go in the designer and um, ha I have my definition of my label right here which is private and I just say public and if I go to form one now form dot label one dot text equals text box one dot text and if I how's that simple easy three ways um, I I don't advise you to do this because well nobody does this is it's, it's not good practice so I'm just showing you this to teach you about the modifiers which I'm going to talk which I'm going to talk about uh, in another in another video uh, public private protected uh, internal uh, it's a lot of things so uh, for now that's it see you guys next time